In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to add bones to an object so that the object can be posed. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Ok well I'm going to assume that you have a little bit of knowledge of working in Blender so I won't treat this as a complete beginners tutorial but this is a very basic hand and I'm just going to add some simple bones to this so that afterwards I can pose the fingers or put the fingers in a position that I want them to be in. Anyway, OK. So the first thing you need to do is add some bones. So just hold down shift followed by A. And next to armature, left click on single bone. Now if you come over to the right hand side of the screen, there's a little chap running and this says object data. Just left click on this and then left click on the little arrow next to viewpoint display and then place a tick where it says in front and all your bones will always be in front of um, your object even though they may well be inside oh, you'll be able to see them OK so I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode I'm going to press A to select everything and then I'm going to press R and I'm going to rotate this around so it sort of lines up with one of the fingers and then I'll press G and bring this down in line so let's press 7 on numbers pad to go into top view so I think I'll do this one first, this small finger here first so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this end and press G just grab this over so it's about here and I'm going to select this end and again G and grab this over so it's about here and select all by pressing A then right click and left click on subdivide open up the subdivision box and in this instance I'm just going to put three subdivisions in OK now it's just a case really of trying to line up um, all of your bones so I'm going to just select this end and press G and grab this over there again select this end and grab this over th this finger joint and then select grab this finger joint and then grab again go into front view and again grab these so that they're roughly I'm going to do this quite quickly so it won't be perfect it's just a very quick tutorial so I'm reasonably happy with that yes you, you can deselect the in front so that's looking pretty good okay so I'm going to go into top view again, I'm going to press A then I'm going to hold down shift D to duplicate and then hit return and then G for grab and I'm going to move this one over here and rotate it again and selecting the ends press G to grab these over so that they line up with the joints sometimes it can be a bit difficult trying to line things up so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just go through all of this quickly and come back to it when I'm finished hopefully you've got the gist of what I'm doing here now that I've applied all the bones to this hand, and I must admit I've done them quite quickly, what I'm going to do is press tab on my keyboard to go into object mode. Then select the hand, hold down shift, and select the bones. And then if you come up to object, left click on, on object, and next to parent, you need to click with automatic weights though sometimes if you're doing something like a hose especially if it's made up of um, separate sections you may need to use envelope weights but in this instance I'm going to select automatic weights 
And now if you hold down control followed by shift, this will take you into pose mode. And with a bit of luck, you should find that if you select one of the bones, you can pose your finger or your object by rotating. Hopefully that's helped somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.